Alright guys, welcome to your third video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing to set up Eclipse and also if we have time we're going to start some coding. So the first thing I want you to do now is go ahead and right click your project name which should be Hand Blaster and go the way go to properties just like we did before. Now by default since you were already working in this section um, you should see libraries but if you don't just go ahead and click on Java build path and libraries now once you do this you're gonna see all of the jars that you uh you know downloaded go ahead and click this little arrow and expand LWJGL jar and once you do that you're gonna have four options to choose from go ahead and select native library location now by default right now it should say none in parentheses so go ahead and highlight that. Now once you do every button on the right hand side is going to be grayed out except edit. So go ahead and click edit. Now what we want to do is we want to tell it that we're going to be working with a Windows workspace. So go ahead and instead of typing the location path the easier thing to do is just go ahead and select workspace. Now we want to go ahead and navigate to where our Windows folder is. So go ahead and expand this and if you can't remember well just go ahead and look on the left hand side of your screen and you can see the uh, uh, directories but go ahead and expand lib now natives and windows. Now don't go ahead and expand windows we just go ahead and um, I, I gotta quit saying go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead. What we have to do now is just select the folder itself and hit OK. Now once we do that our path is going to be to our windows folder hit OK again and hit it again and bam we're good to go so that's basically all we have to do to set up the core libraries now what we have to do is just uh, make some actual Java so of course before we can start coding we need some classes but before we start you know organizing all the classes and writing some code methods variables and crap I want to go ahead and give you guys a little background on the type of game that we're making there are a few different types of games that we can make but where we're gonna focus on is something called a state based game now right now think of old Nintendo games where each state would actually be a screen so you remember whenever you were playing um, I don't know like Super Mario Brothers you first popped in the game in your Nintendo and you saw it said okay Super Mario Brothers that's the title screen that title screen would be a state the menu now if you were playing level one while you were playing you went to a different screen that would be a different state if you wanted to view the high scores that would be a different state or screen if you wanted to you know view the settings that would be a different one so I will probably use the terms state and screen interchangeably but they really mean the same thing so in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple two state game. We're going to have the main menu which is one state and the area that you play which is you know probably a bunch of hams going around shooting things that's going to be another state. So go ahead and right click Java game or whatever you named your package and what we need to do now is of course make a new class. So new class. Now this is how I'm going to set it up basically we may change things up a little bit but each state is gonna have its own class you're gonna have the menu class which has the main menu which says like start um, quit exit and we're gonna also have the playing class which is gonna be you know the playing screen but before we even jump into making the screens I need a class called game so go ahead and name this game and you also want to include the main method in here so include that and hit finish now why am I making this class if it isn't a state it isn't a screen well I'm making this class because this is pretty much the master class the main brains behind our game the thing that controls everything so this is like the boss class is gonna be like okay I control everything I'm God so that's what this class is gonna be responsible for and all the other classes are pretty much gonna resemble different screens or states so I know I'm stressing that but it's a very important um, concept you have to get in your head one way or another so actually I thought I was gonna have to type that in but it's already good to go so we already um, have package 
Java game, which pretty much says, okay, we're working in the Java game package. Now, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and delete these comments because I hate comments. I can make my own. Now, before we actually start typing variables or anything, we have to import two different things. We actually have to import a bunch of stuff, but uh, we can do it in two statements. And um, now that I think about it, this video is getting kind of long, and I didn't type anything yet. So in the next video, I can't wait to get my fingers on these keys and start typing some Java code. So we're going to be typing the code. I'm going to be going through line by line, telling you why you need each line, what it does, and why it's useful. So guys, thank you for uh, sticking along with me this long. We finally made it. Ready to start typing some Java. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.